Hi, Bravo Cycles is here, uh, recording on the 12th of November 2023. I posted a similar chart today on X, but thought I would elaborate a bit more. Uh, my question is, could SPX index just keep pushing up due to FOMO that looks we are uh, seeing? And a follow-up question is, could really such a strong FOMO, fear of missing out, overcome all the technical negatives that I will uh, elaborate more now? First, we should notice that we had five waves up from October 27. One, small two, wave three, wave four, and five. For A, uh, wave, and then we should expect a pullback in B wave to 68% uh, blue fib level. Uh, that will also close this gap, uh, large gap. Now, just that we ca could count five wave waves up doesn't mean the move is completed. It could keep it extending. For example, this series of one twos, we could count as one bigger one with small wave two. Then we have three here, four here as labeled. And then it, this could be just wave one of five. So we get one, two, three, four, five. So it could still go higher. However, we should also notice that on Friday, SPX stopped exactly at red 61.8 retrace of the whole move from July high to October low. So it's also uh, an indicator of a good uh, place to pull back. Furthermore, I posted on Friday, I think, on X that relatively strong 20-day cycle is due to turn down any time now. It bottomed here October 27, and it had about 10 days up uh, phase, and now it should have about 10 plus minus uh, days down phase. Also, SPX reached short-term cycle target projections that I had from some cycle methods like crossing forward line of demarcation or FLD or projection from converged moving averages. So that's another reason to pause and pull back. I have some other uh, much higher target around 4,600 for the 40-day cycle that I discussed last week, uh, but I have a feeling that that target will be invalidated. Further, we could also notice that on Friday, SPX slightly penetrated 100 days moving average. And that moving average still acts as a resistance. What often happens, uh, the price penetrates a little bit uh, moving average and then reverses down. Curiously, last five days from Friday last week until last Friday, the index price was moving sideways to slightly up, while a New York advanced decline line of stocks was uh, very noticeably declining. That could be in part due to weakness uh, this week in small cap stocks, but it's wider than that, that weakness. For example, Q, QQQ uh, ETF for NASDAQ 100 had uh, a very, uh, very big move on Friday while and made the new high, while equal weight QQQ didn't make a new high, which means that or suggests that strength is really uh, concentrated in some large capitalization names. Another interesting observation is that in SPX, 
we had larger than 1.5% rally on Friday, but with the lowest volume in three weeks, except for slightly lower volume uh, last Monday during a sideways consolidation. And if that's not enough, price oscillator on, on the hourly chart is extremely uh, overbought, as well as short-term optics, which is a collection of sentiment indicators, is also overbought. Now, looking at these indicators, we could also see that RSI, Relative Strength Index, is extremely negatively diverging relative to the price. Same with MACD, same with Elliott Wave Oscillator and some other oscillators. I could probably find a few more negatives, but overall, uh, there is an overwhelming evidence uh, of technical factors that suggests uh, that SPX should consolidate and pull back uh, next uh, week or two. Now, is this going to happen? You could never be sure. I think so, but market sometimes surprises all participant, participants. That's it for today. If you like my video, please like it, uh, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. You could also follow me on X at Bravo on X. Until next time, bye.